for your time today. Always good talking to you. Uh, well, uh, for, for now, let's invite our next guest. We have Sushil Kedia now joining us. Uh, uh, Sushil, good afternoon. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, uh, you know, it's been a relentless run, one-way rally for the market. Now, what's your big call? Uh, is there is there more to go here uh, uh, on the on the Nifty and uh, on the on the Bank Nifty? Anuj, uh, Nifty, Bank Nifty, and all the key global indices, they are pretty much behaving similarly. The two things. Uh, right away to answer your question in the affirmative, I see a much larger move ahead on the upside on Nifty, closer to say 12,000, but we might drop back to 10,600 before that. So right away, what is happening in each market, that the highly visible names, the mainline stocks, they have moved already for a trading time frame. And the laggards have been where, you know, the money is now to get in into. The same thing that we've been talking about with you for the last two, two and a half months. The time to time, you know, we have to take money off counters that are appearing to be strong and move that into the counters that have been weak. So I don't know whether, you know, Nifty will give a sell signal tomorrow or day after. But um, if that six, 700 point kind of a drop comes, uh, don't crucify us if it does not come and it is only 400 points. That is the kind of space that is there. Possibly we'll get down to 10,600 before being going close to 12,000. And, and on the S&P 500, say, you know, we get down to about slightly lower than 3,000 and then race past to all time new highs going to uh, 3,500. That's the structure globally on Nifty as well as on Bank Nifty. So the call to 24,000 on Bank Nifty remains intact. But in between, do we have the heart to digest a thousand point drop or, you know, even more back to say 21,000 area? That's the question each needs to ask. Okay, fair enough. So a dip perhaps, uh, but you're not ruling out the resumption of the uptrend. You're not saying the uptrend itself is broken. Uh, got that point. So Sushil, uh, what else will will uh, sort of go down in this dip? Is it banks? Is it reliance? I mean, the strongest part parts of this market. Uh, will everything uh, go through this uh, wave of profit taking? See, uh, should we to expand upon what I began as a preamble? The the highly visible names have already done their big move for the current rally. And say, if you're talking specifically about Reliance, it goes up further to 2.5%, makes a new all-time high, and then comes down 10%. And you know, uh, once it touches some number below 1,800 and starts looking very weak, that is the time to again buy it for a move to 21, 2200. That's pretty much the structure on HDFC Bank or on an Infosys. But if you look at you know the lesser names, like in ONGC and IOC were laggards, and they fired up a good, nice uptrend last week, and they're continuing to gather more steam and strength. So say 20% up move on an ONGC further from here. And while the rest of the market corrects an ONGC may correct only 3, 4, 5% and continues. So there are leads and lags. So say today if the uh, breakouts are coming on a Z, ITC or a NTPC or a power finance corporation. So the less visible names or say within the banks, if a BOB and Punjab National Bank, you know, based on their fundamentals or quality or balance sheet perceptions, trading is a different game, long-term investing is different. So the ones that have been left out that's where the juice is still on this bullish up move. And the ones that are the easy trades, they've already moved up and it's time to you know, trail them. And short selling is a game very few should play. So, so I'm preparing everyone with an idea that about 10,600 to 12,200 is the range. Whether you know we'll miss 12,000 by 100 or 200 points, we'll see it then when it comes. I'm ready for a dip and we'll see how we play this dip. First unwinding the longs and then maybe some selective shorts. The large caps, the more visible names, are the ones that are going to decline more. And the ones that have been left out on the sidelines, the downside may be much lesser in them. So the focus is on the types of to buy Z, ITC, PFC, and DPC. Okay, Sushil. Oh. Okay, Sushil, uh, uh, you know, call on the rupee because uh, that's the one where you've been calling for a big move. And in turn, what would be your call on names like, say, an Infosys uh, and... TCS, though we have broken the one-to-one -one correlation with rupee, but still? See, first on the rupee and the challenge that I face as a chartist on the Infosys and TCS. See, the rupee, the, the dollar decline is pretty much intact. Say, the next number could be about 74, 10, 74, 20, and then a rebound again works out. Or maybe a rebound immediately works out over the next two days. There may be, you know, see, th there is a bit of an open-endedness in most of the charts globally on the rupee as well as on Nifty. So in between spike of 50, 60, 70 paisa cannot be ruled out. 
But eventually, you know, 74, 10, and then we go back to maybe 75, and we come back and break 74. So how that will correlate with Nifty and all is overstretching it. Getting back to, uh, you know, the IT names and why we chose to miss them. The same way that we chose to miss, you know, the rise on Bajaj Finance and Bajaj Finsurf when Nifty was 12,000. See, there are stocks that you look to buy on the pullback. There are stocks you will look to sell on, on rises. And until the sell signals come, you don't. So IT names, to me, look like whenever this bull run of 2020 will be over or whatever, we will later call it as, you know, a massive rally in just five months. The next round of stocks that will get punished most will be IT stocks. Right now, you know, we'll appear to be wrong on them and we'll keep giving them a pass. So we are not going to go long on IT stocks. And as in when 12,000 comes or 11,800 comes and the whole market looks like weak, the stocks to fall most will be the IT stocks. Okay, that's an ominous warning. And I'm looking at some of the other notes uh, that I have from you, Sushil. You're saying Britannia is a cell and Lever is just about getting ready to become a cell, is it? Short sell lever last week, we had to take a stop, we'll do that again. So Britannia is something that will see a decent decline, I think. And lever, you know, it's it's been helpful in managing this euphoria on the index. But structurally, lever is a chart which may decline 20-25% also, while, you know, reliance may decline only 10%. So, so we will try and pick up trades only where we see bigger juice. And so lever is also a stock we are waiting to sell. And we might do that in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow itself. Okay, by the way, the mid-cap index has clearly underperformed today. It's up only about 17 points now. There's a good chance that we'll end in the red for mid-caps. Uh, the large caps, of course, is a different story altogether. By the way, look at Piramal Enterprises. It's a rocket kind of move that we've seen today, 10% higher on that stock. Uh, Sushil, uh, one sector which is making a comeback today is cement, uh, led by ACC and Ambuja as well, doing quite well. Any thoughts here? See, the cement stocks are, you know, just participating with the market. And I think, you know, uh, the move in them is mostly done. Uh, they've already uh, sort of outperformed. So ACC has already outperformed this whole uh, market and gone closer to the 11,800 kind of area. So I'm not going to go and get stuck up into, you know, buying this kind of a strength. This clearly remains the market with a well-established theme. Take profits from strength. Look for getting into whatever has been weak. So cement is a pass for me now. That's an opportunity gone. Okay, so Chil, we've thrown lots of stocks at you. So now let me give you an open slate. Uh, the best trades that, that are visible to you on your screen at the moment. See, uh, trades apart, let's talk about another missile. See, Anuj loves these rockets and missiles. So, so in respect of Anuj, I have this idea about what other stock than Reliance might have begun its long-term bull market already within this very suspicious up move from the March laws. So. So in that category, after, on the back of Reliance, now I'll place Sun Pharma in that uh, bucket. Say 10% decline to 445, 450 can never be ruled out, which perhaps likely coming with the rest of the market in this correction over the next week, two weeks. But from there on, Sun Pharma has already done a five-year long correction. That's long-term reversal signs are already in place. And the rally that has opened from March has given early signs of a long-term bull market to have begun. Once it declines to 445 and resumes again and forms a higher high, that's when I'll come back and confirm to you that over the next year and a half to two years, Sun Pharma might be going past above its all-time high again. 1,200, 1,500 kind of price can come over the next one and a half, two years. So for investors and delivery buys on high-quality names, next 10% decline, Sun Pharma may be your next missile. Okay, what about uh, some of these, uh, you know, auto names, escorts? Escorts has had a big move, uh, Sushil, right? Uh, now m and is playing catch up. Tata Motors has been one of your favorite calls. Uh, what about some of these names? So I'll give you a quick synopsis of all the auto stocks. Tata Motors, I think, you know, if I get to buy it close to 100 rupees, I'm going to lap it up with both hands. Or if it goes past and trades above 112. So I'm looking for the next trading exit in Tata Motors close to 130.35. Maybe I'll buy some closer to 100, 102 and double up my trade once it is above 112. Maruti, while it is appearing to be so strong, I want to give it a pass. But if it declines by a thousand rupees, if this broad correction on Nifty to 10,600 comes, Maruti might be available close to 5,100, 200, from where Maruti may be again, you know, a 40% riser going to 7,000. So I'll keep that on the reserve. Escorts is a stock, you know, that one always, you know, the chart looks like whenever this whole bull market will end. 
escorts will be stopped that is going to be punished like anything but right now whatever masti is going on in escorts will will keep it on a along with infosys and tcs on a stop where we are going to have a larger fun at an appropriate time i'll ignore it for now and mnm is about you know completing this massive uptrend and and uh, same category as those cement stocks mnm is an opportunity that is done with so i'll step aside so within the auto stocks i think the fun is to focus on tata motors that's the earliest entry where you know there there may be good upside uh, to grab on any any kind of tips okay um before we let you go actually a colleague nimesh is just pointing out towards the decline on bajaj finances pull up that stock on the screen it is the weakest link on the nifty now and it's down 4 4.5% and that recovery is getting sold into uh, that's bajaj finance 3289 on the screen and there it is once again heading back to the lows of the session so just just revisiting this because i mean a lot of people rode the rally uh, from 2000 plus on the upside uh, what are the levels to keep in mind and uh, would you advise any any sort of a trade or even an investment at all on bajaj finance so we discussed this two three weeks ago yeah. when it was about 2800 mm -hmm. that we will go to about 34 3500 and where we'll take a good exit and once it comes back again closer to 2800 area we will reconfirm to you our early thesis that from 2800 again a move of another 2000 rupees can come so so far bajaj finance has been kind to our chart reading it's been working the way we've been seeing it so as of now you know there's no question of being long on this and uh, we'll decide closer to about 2800 area which might coincide with 10600 on the nifty so let's see uh, uh, the move that has started from 1800 and gone up to 3500 is clearly a structure that is again the first leg of a much longer bull in bajaj finance and bajaj finser and after having done so much a 5 600 rupees correction should be good opportunity for both delivery buyers and for speculators to play for another 6 months another 2000 rupees up on there Okay, so she will leave it there today. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, well, it's uh, always good to talk to you. But uh, stick your neck out, and of course, uh, for, you know, make those big calls. Uh, for now, uh, yes, Bajaj Finance is the one which is now at the low point of the day. That recovery is getting sold in. It will be interesting to see what the management says in con call, and see what happens to the stock tomorrow. But for now, we need to take a break with the news that the market is still at the highest point of the day, especially on the large cap indices. Yes, the mid caps have cooled off. But that's okay, I guess. Uh, large caps doing well. We'll take a break and be back with the BTST calls from our technical experts.